Hey guys, hello and welcome to Zen Innovations. And in this quick tutorial, I am going to teach you how to use this clamp meter to measure the DC amps of your system. And the DC amps could be about your battery bank or it could be about your solar panel. So without further ado, let's begin this video and let's focus on the dial of this clamp meter first. So over here, as we can see that the clamp meter is currently in an off position. So let's turn it on. And the first option here is 1000 amperes. And as we can see that the clamp meter is now ready to measure amperes. You can read the ampere sign over here. So I'll give you a quick tip that which range you should choose. Now over here guys, I am aware that my solar panels are not going to exceed 400 amperes in any condition. So I can go to 400 ampere range. And over here you might have noticed that we get a benefit. And benefit is that you get a point over here so that the accuracy of your reading goes up. So in 1000 ampere, let me show you, there's no point. And over here in 400 ampere, you get a point over here so that your reading becomes more accurate. Now some clamp meters also have a 40 ampere option over here. And if you're sure that, yeah, my solar panels are not going to exceed 40 amperes, then you can go to the 40 ampere range and you can get even more accurate reading from your clamp meter. And if you're not aware that what kind of amperes you are, you are measuring, you can start higher and then dial it down as you need it. So that is the uh, range selection over here. Now the second selection over here is regarding your system. And this is a very goofy error which uh, keeps happening. And sometimes I see that a lot of even big YouTubers commit this mistake. What happens is that uh, last time you measured AC amperes and the clamp meter was there in AC reading and then you try to get a reading out of uh, your battery and then uh, it, it, it's quite a headache that well what kind of weird readings I am getting from my battery and it uh, sometimes becomes very difficult to track down. So the second po point that uh, you are going to check over here is that whether your clamp meter is in AC or DC mode and you can use this select button over here to put back in the DC range and if you try to measure uh, the amperage using AC range yes it gives you some kind of reading but that would be really stupid and this is a stupid mistake which happens so DC range over here now coming to the third point now the third point as you might have noticed over here is that we are already getting some kind of reading and subscri some uh, subscribers ask me that well is this a fault with the clamp meter actually no this is not a fault and uh, what happens guys is that the clamp meter has a hall effect sensor and as we can see that we have a lot of electronics over here we have charge controller we have huge batteries and we have this lot of wires running so what happens is that uh, the hall effect sensor just picks some kind of interference or you can say disturbance and it puts this kind of reading on the display so for that what we are going to do is we are going to hit this zero button so we press the zero button and the display here becomes zero and now the clamp meter is uh, completely ready to start measuring the amperage of your system. So to measure it what I am going to do is I am simply going to use the clamp and I am going to go around like this and over here we can check the reading which is 4.1 amperes and after getting this reading guys uh, there is another tip which is coming to my mind that is that once you have started measuring the amperage of your system I suggest that you do not change any of the options on your clamp meter. Say that uh, you started measuring the amps of your battery and then you notice like oh well the clamp meter was in the AC range and then you try changing it into the DC range or something. So yeah if you forget that this is in the AC range and then you try to rectify it while the clamp meter is connected with the wires then what happens guys is that your reading becomes completely inaccurate. As you can see the first uh, the reading which we were getting was around 4 amps and it has fallen down to 2.7 ampere. So that is what happens when you try changing any of the settings or if you try going to zero and then you you know mess up then you get these kind of dummy readings. So if you have forgotten to change the modes or if you feel like well I need to change something on my clamp meter then what I recommend is you completely remove the clamp meter from the wires. You place it like this so that this clamp meter is in completely neutral position. Then you change whatever options you want, whether you want to go to uh, AC to DC or whatever and then you hit zero and then you start measuring the amps and over here we can see this is the amps that we were getting around 4 amperes. So this is the accurate reading and if I just mess around with these buttons, let me show you. Even after coming back in the correct mode, which is the DC mode, the reading is not 
correct all right so that was how you measure amps of your battery and now let's go ahead to measure the amps of your solar panel and guys if you are interested in a solar energy then i have a giant playlist waiting for you in a description so you can go ahead and check out various videos related to solar panels all right so over here i have my solar system connected to this uh, charge controller if you want to uh, watch the review of this size teller charge controller the link will be waiting in description below for you guys all right so what we are going to do is we will uh, follow the same procedure we will go to the 400 amps range and as you can see here that as there are lot of electronics over here we have the charge controller this dummy reading which was around 1.3 amps has gone up so again so right before using the clamp meter we are going to hit this zero button and then we are going to take the reading over here in this positive wire and as we can see that solar panels are providing 2.3 amps over here and again here you might have noticed that well why there is a minus sign on the display and is this uh, any kind of reverse current you can say actually guys what happens is that it depends on the way in which you uh, you know uh, clamp the clamp meter in direction of your wires so if i clamp it other way round like this i get a reading in positive we can see here 2.6 amps and over here i have another set of my solar panels this is a different array and if you are interested in watching the setup tour of this dis uh, this different array the setup tour will be waiting in description for you or you can check it out over here in the i button so let's get another reading and as we saw guys that the hall effect sensor already picked up some disturbance so whenever you are changing readings even if you change your position a little bit a few inches here and there i suggest that you use this zero button to get rid of any dummy readings and then over here again we will take this reading so this set of solar panel is producing a very healthy output you can say 15 amps and again the uh, there is a small minus sign over here and that is happening because the direction of my clamp meter is not correct so i'll go other way round like this and this is how you get a positive reading so around 16 amps coming from solar panel so i guess this is uh, what it was about the this little tutorial today i hope you liked it if you enjoy watching this uh, tutorial guys then make sure to subscribe to this channel because subscribing is absolutely free take care and have a nice day